Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, the 30th, December 30th, and you'll never guess what I got here. Here's yet another one of them Remington 700 long action rifle videos where they're gonna put a Magpul stock on it. I have, uh, because of other videos I've seen, I've gone ahead and made this purchase. It's a couple of new uh, bolts for this gun that are a little bit longer to get the factory stock off. You've got the two uh, the two bolts here on the trigger guard and that one right there. And that factory stock comes off. And then there's gonna be a little rectangular doohickey right there. I think if I remember correctly, it's held on with one screw. You have to remove that in order to uh, put the, the new magazine well and, and uh, trigger guard, which is this little doohickey right here, and the magazine. Now, these, uh, these stocks, this is a nice stock. The only thing I don't like about it is there's not a, a trap door to get your ammo out the bottom. You gotta bolt everything through. But this is a 30-06. And that is a Carl Zeiss or Zeiss uh, scope. Uh, here in a little bit, I'll when I get it turned over and uh, looking at stuff, I'll uh, let you know what size it is. I think it's a it's a, a nine by twelve by forty or whatever they call them. Yeah, but I'll I'll, I'll, <clears throat> I'll let you know what it is as soon as I get it turned over. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna get this, get these uh, these bolts out of here, and then I'll bring you back. And uh, when I start the second phase of uh, removing the other piece out of it, so it just uh, stay tuned. Uh, actually, I've got a tripod right there. I may, I may let you see my ugly self as I try to uh, work on this gun. All right, uh, hang hang tight. Well, I was gonna use that tripod, but. It's, uh, as soon as I put my phone on it, it just collapsed. So it's, you know, I <laughs> didn't see that coming. That's been my whole week, man. I've been out there working on the garage door. First one, uh, cable come off, got it fixed. Uh, when that cable came off, my stepson was out there getting in the garage and it, uh, it twisted and tore the garage door opener bracket right out of the middle of the garage door. So I had to go in and rebuild that put one cable on and then the other cable came off. So I just finished putting the other cable back on and it's it's working again, but I'm gonna have to get a new garage door. So I'll be doing some pricing on that. But uh, yeah, back to where I was, what I was, before I got sidetracked, my tripod's not working. So I'm just gonna have to start and stop the video as I go along. I hate doing that because I'm trying to, trying to get some better, uh, better videos out there for you. I'm trying to get this channel, channel uh, going and uh, get around the uh, the uh, hidden algorithms. That's another problem that we're having is uh, our, the, small, our, our, the smaller channels like mine and there's a few others that I've been uh, talking to and we're, the small channels are being exploited. Our uh, top videos are having commercials put on them but they're not paying us for those commercials. They're just using that to feed the big channels with. And, and then they wanna, you know, you know, it is what it is, I guess. It's. Uh, well, we need Elon to buy uh, YouTube and, and uh, get some things straightened out too. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. I'll bring you back as soon as I have the, uh, the stock separated from the barrel. Okay, this is that rectangle I was telling you about, that, and it's held on by one little screw right there. So I'm going to take that loose, remove this, and then we're going to be ready to put all this back onto that other that other gun or that other stock all right so now you know that we're, where we're at uh stay with me and uh, we'll get right back we'll get right back with you all right this is that magpul stock it's pretty nice now they got uh, that uh see that aluminum bed it's a good solid fit and that thing will be floated all the way back to the to the beginning of that uh, bed. 
looking at that gun, I've already got that piece off of it. And uh, that thing's clean. It may have been another one of them purchases where uh, they bought it and never used it. And that Zeiss come off of a, a Remington, uh, not a Remington, it was a, a, a Winchester Model 70 short, uh, short mag. And I looked at it, but <clears throat> couldn't find any ammo for it. So this right here went with a 30 out six. All right, I'm gonna put it on the uh, put it on the stock, and get the trigger guard on it, and uh, see how I did on these uh, on this purchase. Because from what I heard in the previous videos, the uh, <clears throat> the um, factory bolts or I think one of them's too short or something. And so, uh, and there's a lot of videos that I watched, they didn't tell you. So I'm telling you now, you may, uh, you may just go ahead and buy this. I got this off of eBay. They're stainless steel and they're, I think an eighth of an inch or so longer than the factories. So, all right, let me get, uh, let me get this together and I'll bring you back here in a few minutes. Okay. This is what I need to share with you. This is the aftermarket bolt and it is too long and what it does it gets too tight up in the back of here and it won't allow that bolt to move and i had to kind of look it over real good to figure to figure out what was going on with it <clears throat> so this bottom bolt back side of the uh back behind this trigger guard here the uh, the state the, the factory bolt is the correct size it's this front bolt up here let me get this gun turned so you can see what i'm talking about yeah, that bolt right there on the front of this trigger guard, you have to have the longer one. The one in the back, you're good. They're selling the, what I bought, for both of them were, uh, I think, an eighth of an inch longer. But, uh, yeah, factory bolt, too short for the front. The rear one is good. All right, so now we've got the uh, gun put together. Looks kind of cool. Now the only thing uh, that I don't like about these uh, long action uh, uh, stocks is that you've got to remove the cheek piece off the back of the stock to get your bolt out when you're ready to clean because it will hit, let me get it, it's going to hit right there as soon as you uh, hit that, uh, let me get my camera on it, it'll hit the, hit the back of that stock so you'll have to take that. And you would figure they've, they've <laughs> this has been an ongoing, uh, uh, I guess, issue, if you will, since they've been uh, manufacturing this stock. And you would think by now that they would take care of it. And, uh, of course, there's a one in a million chance that they'll ever see this video the way uh, YouTube likes to hide the small guys. But, uh, yeah. Anyhow, I haven't even put the magazine in it yet. But, uh it's a five round magazine so that'll keep the the hip hopsters happy and uh it just you know, i'm trying to do this one-handed there it goes clicks right into place and then uh you're ready to uh go hunting it's got a re release lever here and i think you push it forward or do you pull it back i don't know yet like I said, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Um, yeah, let me let me see if I can rig something up. Like I said, that stupid die. Uh, that might be able to work. Yeah, pulls forward. Uh, it'll set it. It's not a. It's not a one hand operation. Push it forward and pull the uh, magazine out. Now I'm gonna. Whoa. Do the test right now. Uh oh. I didn't like that. Huh. Looks like I got a couple of bad rounds, or maybe they're the wrong size. I don't know. A couple of my rounds didn't want to chamber. 
So I'll have to look into that. All right, let me put this back on the deal. Like I said, I'm gonna investigate that a little further because it uh, there was two, I think two rounds. It didn't want to, it didn't want to chamber, and it might be a possibility that I might have gotten some, maybe an eight millimeter or, uh, round mixed in with it or something else. So I'll have to look that over. But anyway, there it is, Magpul uh, 700L with the Remington Model 730 out six. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hope I didn't confuse anybody. Easy, easy, easy installation. Y'all have a good we uh, weekend and, and uh, happy new year. All right, I want to give you a fast, quick update. The front bolt. You know, I, I was talking about a few minutes ago. I needed to be replaced. I was wrong. Uh, this longer still running into the same problem in the front uh, the front uh, part of that bolt was catching on the front bolt so the trick is to put the front in first and get it to bite and then put the back in now I'm fixing to uh, reload the magazine and uh, put it back together and or, uh, see if I can uh, run some uh, ammo through it without having a problem I did a few minutes ago with the bolt catching on the, uh, in the, uh, yeah, the, the firing bolt catching on the, the, uh, bolts that hold the stock together. Something like that. All right, be back. All right, the issue I was having with, was with the ammo. Uh, I don't know where I got that, those, those rounds from, but they aren't what I thought they were. They were some old full metal jacket 30 out six rounds. Uh, probably some old surplus ammo I bought a long time ago, but I ran some new core locks through it and it was just fine. So <clears throat> it, uh, the setup does not like the old stuff, just the newer stuff. And now I just got to take it out and shoot it. I think it'll be good. All right. I promise that's it on this video. Now, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry I didn't uh, get a chance to actually take it apart in front of you but there's a lot of videos out there that uh, have already done that and then I guess I'm just following suit with the rest of my uh, <laughs> alleged videos all right again happy new year everybody and I will catch you on the next video